Hey there, geeks. Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to clear recent document history in WordPad. That looks a little something like this. You hit the file, you can quickly open any documents you've recently opened. If your list gets really, really long, you can actually clear everything out or clear them individually. Step one, download clear recent document history and WordPad registry file. And I'm going to show you what that registry file does. It's really safe and easy to use, but let me show you that. Just go to the page, click download now, look up here towards the top. There's a link to take you to the video tutorial so you can follow along or click on this link to get the file. All right. Now we can do it manually as well, and that's pretty easy to do. Simply open your registry editor, Windows key plus R, type in reg edit, R E G E D I T, click OK or press enter, and copy and paste again with the code you see at the top of the video, this right here. Copy. Control V to paste it in and press enter and that will jump you to the recent file list. Now, as you saw, let me bring this down so you can see both the registry and WordPad. Here's file. There's my test. You can see it right there. Document, tutorial. So now you can see all you have to do is, for example, right click on the file name next to the one you wanna take out of your history and click delete. So let's take document out. I think we'd have to restart Word. Don't know if we gotta refresh the registry or log out, to be honest with you. Let me take a quick look here. Yeah, we'd probably have to uh, restart or reboot one or the other for it to take effect. Sometimes clearing the registry might do it. Let's see, F5, nope. All right, so here's what's gonna happen. When you get the registry file, it's gonna do something very, very similar, and that's gonna remove everything, and here's how. All you gotta do is click on the recent file list, right here on the left, right click and click on delete. Click yes. Now, when I start WordPad up, there you see no documents in there anymore. So you can also see Windows R reg edit, Windows key plus R reg edit, and it'll just put anything back now when you create one. So for example, let's see if I can do it just for kicks so you know that you're not gonna ruin your registry. Save it as whatever, sure. And we can close it. F5 to refresh the registry, see if it comes up. There it is, document.rtf. So once again, you can delete them as you, at will to just get them individually out or delete the entire recent file list key. There you have it. Piece of cake, you got this. As far as a registry file goes, when you get it, it's just one registry file. You'll just double click it and do the usual I think it's all explained in here. The usual yes, yes, okay. Did I get that right? Yes, yes, okay. That's it. You'll just extract the file, double click it. Yes, yes, okay. Boom, everything's all cleared out. Piece of cake. You can handle it. Bottom right corner, Major Geek's logo. Line your little mousey over there, somewhere over here. And you can subscribe to Major Geeks. We'd appreciate that. Thanks for watching as always. See ya.